Okay, so what is up everyone? This is Kane here. Welcome back to Tech Current YouTube channel. This one is the latest VX ROG edition, which is based on 12.07 stable version. This was kind of the previous build, which is based on Android version 10. But the thing is, this is the newly updated version, V2 version, where we have some new changes, some new features, some new kind of additional features added in this build. Other things are kind of same, as you can see the ASIN color and the maintainer name and other things. We have new pill and some a lot of things i'm gonna share with you in this video sorry for that focus related things in this video so like in this in this build what you get here is first of all let me share with you the full screen gestures as you already saw the full screen gestures are there and also some things which are fixed here for example the safety net status which is fixed i'm using magic 21.4 here and safety net status is passing how it is passing of course you need to hide magic scandals but in the previous rog edition update for the poco x users the safety net status was kind of an issue the safety net status was not passing but in this update it is fixed now so the safety net status is passing thanks to our developers thanks to my friends who just helped me in this way so safety net status is passing without any kind of issues okay but how it is passing you just need to install a module which i will provide you the link by the way it's per module by kragen you can simply search it on the github you will find it very easily and as you can see i haven't try to hide my magic so without hiding you just need to install that module it's working perfectly fine but maybe it, it's actually it's a unified build so if you're using poco x3 nfc version might be you don't you don't need to use any kind of module of course and also if you're able to see let me show you once that there we have the floating windows options available and this is kind of full screen gestures actually which means that the MIUI launcher is there yes the MIUI launcher is there so we have the pill we have the floating windows if we don't know poco launcher always there in the poco devices but in this update we have all these things as you can see the swipe right swipe down swipe left both of these gestures are working perfectly fine everything is good till now in this update as it's based on the stable version if you are getting some issues you might get the issues from the additional features which are added for example this always on display if you want to use always on display on your device you can still use it but of course it's it's not recommended for you to use because if you're using lcd display it may harm your display so it's not recommended for you to use but still it's up to you for example i sometimes use it for only only 10 seconds as you can see I'm using it for 10 seconds I will use it for only 10 seconds after that I will just disable it as you can see it will automatically disable it but sometimes i use sometimes i don't use so it's just up to you and also it's just working perfectly fine it's not only working for 10 seconds it's working for always so if you want to use always you can but of course as i previously told you it's it's not recommended it's up to you like that we have all those features we have these kind of options lock screen related things moving on to the display settings other things sound and vibration everything's kind of the same home launcher this option is working but it's it's not usable you are using your launcher so you can access from the main home screen and like that as I previously told you you get the MIUI launcher so we have the full screen indicator option which is a pill option available swipe up from the corner of Google assistant all these things are just available and working perfectly fine these are some interesting things which you get in this latest update so kind of this latest update it's just great some interesting things are added and some basic things are working now we have the other things we regarding this ROG update retro music WPS light docs and some features which you already know about this ROG edition room we have these options available these apps and other things available in the previous updates and this update includes the latest MIUI 12.5 volume panel which was not available previously but now it's available it's added there so if you're looking to use yes this might be one of the reasons behind that because you get the MIUI 12.5 volume panel and including that let me show you one more thing this is the new power menu which was not available previously but yes it's now added so a lot of stuff is added here in this update you should, should definitely give it a try if you want to install and if you have tried the previous build you can install it very easily the installation in Sikra is kind of same if you install the previous update I already shown you the installation and if you still don't know installation I will make I have a video on that one I will provide the link in the description for that video to check out how to install this and this one is a new power menu which looks quite smooth and good enough to use these were the things I just wanted to let you know link is in the description so thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me goodbye have a nice day